Hello, this is episode 41. Welcome back. Uh, how are we? Good. Good. Well, Death um, now. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're back again. Uh, this week we are going to start off with a wee shout out to anyone who joined our uh, Fantasy Premier League League. So thank you very much. The cut off was last Friday. We are recording this on Tuesday this week. So as it stands, um going to give a shout out to the top three. So Ash is on 88. He's doing well in the first place, followed by Kyle Pagan, not Kyle Palmer. So uh, he's on 86. And Matthew Williams, who's been on before, and Ash actually, uh, he's on third and 75. So notable shout outs there. Well done, boys. Keep it up. Uh, Kyle's in fourth, actually. The uh, best of the three of us. Greg's in seventh, and I am sitting in tenth. So there's still my, time. My to... choice of uh, Martin Odegaard over Bakayo Saka, which uh, I lost uh, a different league to on the back of. I picked Saka, the other person picked Odegaard last season. Has already a flip this season. I went Odegaard, they went Saka, and it's cost me. Well, that's it's still a little, point out time. It's a little things. So, yeah, so, all right, keep it up. Well done. So, we're going to start off this week by analysing the game week one of the Premier League, which we previewed last week. So, uh, any notable results that you've enjoyed, boys? Yeah, the league can finish right now. Newcastle United are top of the Premier League. Finish it now. Alex has a hand on that golden boot as well. Get it finished. Uh, Not sure um, that's how it works. This league's not one game long, I'm afraid. I mean, it was very nice of Aston Villa to just play a high line the whole game, and even when they had things did start to go wrong, to just not even try and fix it. It was very nice. I I, I don't think Newcastle would win, but not that convincingly. I didn't. I thought Newcastle would get beat. Everyone's back in Villa to have a really good season. I thought they'd come out the block strongly, and I thought Newcastle would lose. And how delighted I was to be proved wrong. Yeah. Uh, Nally, my sh- debut. Oh, he's such a player. He's an absolute Rolls Royce of a player. Did he you just... see that he, he reserved the table in spoons already? I did. Someone has absolutely done him a dirty bear. He's probably asked someone like Matt Ritchie or Jacob Murphy, where, where should I where should I go for uh, food in Newcastle in someone's place? Weatherspoons. From our sales, playing pranks. That's it. More yellow did... cards than minutes last season. He definitely wanted the, was it three plates for 15, is it now? I don't know. It's probably three plates for 20. Oh, it's like three plates Price. for a billion pounds now. Yeah. 18 in London. Just, he just wanted some halloumi fries. That's what he wanted. I know someone else who likes those. <laughs> yes, we won't talk about that. Anyway, yeah, any other notable results? Yeah, was it see, Brentford Spurs was one? Yeah, that's the one I was thinking. I'm just getting a draw in his first game. But were Brentford not the better team I've ever seen the game? Was, uh, I've Brent, seen Brentford that. played well for large parts of it. They were under the cosh at the very end. Uh, VAR controversy in that game. Uh, as a, To be fair, it's been marked as controversy, but like I thought it was a penalty live. And then actually, the more you watch the replay, the less of a penalty it gets. Um, so that was controversial, that the benchmark there, I don't think that was a clear and obvious error. I think it was a penalty, but I don't think given it was a clear and obvious error. Then he obviously had a uh, Old Trafford on Monday night, uh, yeah, and the that. Andre Onana gate, uh, and then the officials assault. from that game have now been dropped. Yeah, the assault case, I think some are naming it. I've uh, never yeah. seen either, but I heard it. Like yeah. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. It's a penalty, and at least a yellow card. There's an argument yeah. it's violent conduct and it's red. I don't think I anyone saying. bar me trying to troll Man United fans actually believes that. But it proves that football do not take like head contact seriously if a goalkeeper can just jump and take out players. Goalkeepers are very, very overprotected anyway, so... Like, yeah. Up. It, like, I, I hate to draw comparisons with rugby, but the line they use in rugby is you run the risk. If you go in the air and land on someone, you run the risk. He's, yeah, all, he's a bit of a risky keeper anyway, when I know. he does what he wants. I did ask the other day how long before he gets caught on the halfway line and someone chips him, and it turns out the answer to that was actually pre-season, so... Yeah, he got lobbed. I think before game week five he'll be lobbed. Or at least made an arse out. So, De Gea, De Gea kind of ended his legacy on the back of his mistakes, so it'll be interesting to see if O'Nana continues 
But to be fair, I, I, the Man United fans I was speaking to last night said uh, they thought it was solid apart from that. But Yeah. But we also had uh, Moises Caicedo Derby, which Kyle was involved in half of. Chelsea v Liverpool, one each. Caicedo's now obviously chosen Chelsea. How do you feel about that, Kyle? Uh, well, watching the game, they definitely need a, a midfielder like that, Holden. Because yeah. the McAllister's not quite that sort of player. He's good, no. but he's not that player. So they need to get looking. It was wrong to sell. Sorry. So I was going to say 115 million British transfer record. Mental. Is he even that good? I've never really watched him play. No, he's not 115 million pound worth of good. When you when you look at, and I, get, I hate to say this back to Newcastle, but if you look at how much Newcastle played for Sandro Tonali versus Moises Caicedo, I know they're slightly different players. Well, they're very different players, but that's an absolute bargain. So it's Premier League to Premier League arrive, arrive on some way. Premier League to Premier League. And it's Chelsea, you know they've got a ton of money. And you know, based on their previous transfers, that you ask them for some money, they'll eventually give you it. Yeah. I see that they're um, in Colombia. I believe he's Colombian, yeah. Yes. They're reinvesting it into like, a football academy. Are they? Like a national wide one, I think. So, Ecuadorian. Ecuadorian. Was it my bed? Ah, same, same point, then. Same flag, pretty much. But yeah, um, even oh, with geez. that, I'm not sure I understood exactly what Pochettino was trying to do. It didn't seem to work in my eyes. It maybe did in other people's. I was just very confused at what he was trying to do. I thought I was. In t- in terms of the tactical setup, I think it just looked a bit. They, they looked a bit short. I don't know why. It. it just didn't look like it was working until it did. This and the <clears throat> Enzo playing. Number 10, where it was, and then Gallagher playing in behind was weird, but it did work. Just. It just, it just worked. It just clicked at one point and it worked. Well, it clicked at one point where they scored from a set piece, basically. They should have two as well, but. Yeah, they should have. It was a total two halves, really, from what I've seen. Yeah. Um, like, as you say, Kyle, Liverpool definitely need someone in the middle of that park to kind of offer some Fabinho like robustness. I was going to say they've sold Milner, Fabinho, and Henderson to sign nobody in that position. So Based that's... on, um, obviously Liverpool and Man City's performances this weekend. Are Liverpool in a title challenge with Man City? Man City are going to be up there. The only team this weekend I've saw, apart from Newcastle, and you'll laugh at me by suggesting Newcastle's in a title challenge, um, the only team I saw who looked even remotely close to being anywhere near Man City were Arsenal. And they struggled. Kind of. I wouldn't say they struggled. They... The, result, the result says otherwise, but yeah. A 2 1 yeah. doesn't. It was, a, it was a late goal, wasn't it? They can see them. It was a late goal, and then as soon as Forrest scored, they just piled everyone forward. Yeah. Um, speaking of midfielders that kind of have a lot of presence, uh, Kevin De Bruyne has been ruled out with an injury. They're, they're saying at least four months. It's done like it's quite been he might confirmed. Need surgery, long, I believe. Yeah, it's looking like four months. So that'll be a big miss for City. They've got plenty of players to cover it. So. But yeah, they have got plenty of players. It's not like they're going to be short. Yeah, and money and time. And pool. Yeah. And they've got Phillips who's just there. It's chilling. I, they'll buy someone else before they use Calvin Phillips. <laughs> so yeah. Denali. But that's that's good news for Newcastle United this weekend. Because Newcastle United have to play that a lot. So yeah. It was a it was a decent start, I would say. I mean we also were looking forward to it. It was it was it was good. Luton, I didn't mention Luton getting beat. And Sheffield United getting beat. Yeah. Oh, I mean, because it's Luton's first ever true. time. That is true. But that, that yeah. is good that two of our three picks, in fact, all three of our picks to go down all lost. Uh, Bournemouth. Bournemouth and West Ham drawing as well, 1 1. Yeah, Bournemouth might surprise people this season. Evidently, we saw with Wolves, though, that Gary O'Neill is a very decent manager. Yeah. I think, what? yeah, from what I heard, I didn't actually see it, but from what I've heard and kind of seen, they were unlucky and they should have probably been a few goals up. They hit the post so. and whatnot. Just, there's no one here that Greg will let us on ever and got beat by Fulham. Hey. Just seen that. 
Yeah. Uh, 73rd minute. So, yeah, interesting first week, I would say. Uh, let's, let's hope the entertainment continues. Standard so, week, you would say. Yeah. I'd say probably Newcastle being standout for, that, for this week. So, well done, Greg. Long game, not last. You have it once. Thanks. Right, so, uh, a few weeks ago, uh, we had Ash on as a guest. And we reviewed some Scottish kits. So this week we are going to be reviewing uh, some English Premier League kits with the season having started and such. So, let's do it. Bam! We're back on this tier maker. So, Kyle's going to kick us off with the Arsenal home kit. Take it away. Well, just quickly looking at it. I do quite like it with the, the yellow stripes. So, it's a light for me. Um, My quick point on it is... Was this meant to be a league winner's top that they made and then when they didn't win the league, they're now playing it off as an anniversary t- top? Because I think that's why they've got the gold bits. Yeah, that's quite funny. I think it still goes in like... It's yeah, maybe a candidate for a love if they'd won the league, but it's not, so it's a like, and I can't disagree with that. Robert, Arsenal away kit. Horrendous. It looks like a training kit. It looks like a knockoff turkey kit. It's going in hate. I cannot say anything that I... Yeah. I quite like it, it but I do like it. But... Oh, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's two against yeah. one colour, so it's going in hate. Uh, Aston Villa home kit. I don't like this either. I don't think I hate it enough for it to go in hate. Oh. It looks like <coughs> your grand's curtains. Um, yes. The sponsor on it, which we mention a lot of the time, looks wrong. It's a bookies. I it was Burger King. Which is terrible. It's going in dislike for me. Um, my only kind of saving grace with this one is I quite like the new badge. I it's don't. Like Chelsea. It's like it's like everyone has tried to make everything circle badges, and I really don't like it. Newcastle, please don't do that. I don't. I just, I, sorry, I, sorry I, I don't. I don't like it enough to probably take out a dislike. To be honest, no. So yeah, not not massive on it. So dislike sounds a bit right. right. Yeah, Kyle, you get their away top. It is a lot better. The, the pattern looks nicer in white. So, is it? I would say so. Looks like a faded ink block test. I wouldn't go as far as say like. I'd probably say it's a meh, but uh, it's better than I the am, kit. I am proposing that it's no better and it also goes in dislike. I'm going to go meh. It's a bit better than the home top. Only just but it's better. There you go, Robert. You get Bournemouth, Bournemouth home top. It's one of these tops we kind of said it sticks with the uh, sticks with the tradition. Uh, obviously, I'm not a big fan of the big Daffa bit sign, but I do like that the the badge has been centered in that stripe. Yeah. So probably go meh. I don't just I don't hate it. I, I think it's a like. I think it's one of those where you notice if they do it badly and they've not. I would yeah. say it's, I would say meh because it's just as a Bournemouth kit. It's just red and black stripes. None yeah. changes any year. Fair enough. I get the away kit and I really can't make my mind up. Um, one, as you'll see when we come on to this, what is it with lots of people in blue away kits this year? Um, I imagine it's meant to be water. It looks like somebody's fingerprints. I say if you look at your thumb, it's the same design. Yeah. Uh, it's, also, a, it's a dislike from me. I also think that it would start waving back at you, if, depending on how many pints you've had. <laughs> yes. I'm, uh, I'm a dislike with that for it's me. It's a dislike from me, yeah. Uh... Dislike. Lovely. Uh, okay. Kyle, back to you. Bo- Brentford home. Oh, it's a tough one. I like the, the fade and the stripes at the bottom. That's quite nice. If I think the shoulder, the bits there, that kind of ruins it. So maybe a meh. Obviously, Ben sign again. Don't like yeah. that. But that's a meh for me. It's a meh for me as well. What helps with this is that Brentford have announced so like last year and the year before, um, they've they're going to use the kit for two years, which I think is great. I think more home kits should be like that. Don't change it every year if you don't need to. Guess I know it's chance to buy a top and it's become iconic. They did it, so they did it. It might not be last year. They did it through COVID, um, yeah. so this one is going to be Brentford for two seasons now. Um, you've nominated me. My only. M- Moan with it being in May is that we liked Bournemouths. I think this is, I think this one is worse than Bournemouths. I like Bournemouths more than this. And the umbro thing is no longer between a stripe. I've just noticed that there, but 
I'm still sticking with Mayer. I like the fade. I think it's different to Bournemouth because Bournemouth, uh, Brentford's changes slightly every year, I feel. More than Bournemouth does. Yeah, Brentford away for Robert. Right, I like the colour. It's quite a nice kind of thing. Uh, open goal, Broom Hill inspired top. Uh, no, that's what the colour they were last year. Kind of. Uh, the badge, that's the notable part on the badge. It's an old fashioned badge. I do quite like it though. I'd probably go like. This has been drawn on. It looks unfinished. Mm-hmm. I'm still going like. You can disagree if you want. Where, like, where's the blue? Like the navy cuffs, I quite like, but there's nothing yeah. like round the bottom or round the collar. Yeah. yeah. But then it, they always get the if if it was like that, if there was the navy collar and that, it'd be there's too much navy on it. So and I, I'm I'm sticking with light. You can disagree if you want. Kyle, do you want to disagree? I'm tempted to. I would say May, just because I don't like the badge, how the badge looks with it, and I that's, do agree with the collar. That's that's two votes from May, I'm afraid. Uh, that's, that's how democracy works. Brighton home kit, um, it's not much to say. It's a Brighton home kit. I reckon they've done it well. I like the white bit over the sponsor. Yeah, that's, um, that's the only bit. It looks like, the, I don't know if it's just the photo, and obviously it's not on the top, but the the top one, the top stripes seem to be kind of like not straight. Yeah, I wonder if it's because it's like the tight fit one or whatever. I have struggled finding a photo for this kit because Brighton's site was under maintenance uh, yeah. when this happened. Uh, I'm going to nominate this for a like. It's a simple top done well. Yeah. Um, I'd probably say May, but... <laughs> I would agree because it's the same as Bournemouth, just the same every year. It's got some May uh, brand. Uh, Brighton away. I was going to say I like it, but upon closer view, I don't. The colours don't really go together at all. It's quite hideous, in my opinion, actually. But dislike seems a bit right. Do I hate it as much as the Arsenal away top? I, I think I, I, I think dislike's about right. I, I dislike it about as much as I dislike the Bournemouth kit that's in there. Oh, he's got a vendetta against Bournemouth tonight. Which is uh, no, sorry, I also dislike it. I, it was a bit close to hate, but it isn't as bad as the Arsenal top. I'd go dislike. It's, like a full, it's a full negative home cut. Yes. And Robert. Um, Burnley home, home top. Is this like... the same as last year's? Looks very similar. Every chance. I don't like that collar. You don't like any type of collars, do you? You mentioned this. It depends on the top. Style. I like them on the old Rangers tops. I think they suit the older tops better, whereas this one, I don't know, it just doesn't... It, I don't know. I feel like it, it's nice. The co- the sleeves are nice. I was going to say the colours. The sleeves are nice when it's it's just a straight cut blue that goes in blue in the claret, which is nice. So I'd probably go... I'm going to go meh. I think like it, it has nice attributes, but I don't like that colour on that top. The, I don't mind the colour. The sponsor ruins it for me. It's way too big. I don't think clubs get much of a say in the sponsor. The only thing actually I noticed, kind of jumping back to the Scottish one, was that on the new Rangers third kit, which wasn't, which wasn't out when we did that video, Castor have got their name on the top, but it's a tiny, it just says Castor tiny, it's not got the actual big writing on it, so which is nice, but I, I don't think they'll get that much choice in. But to be fair, that wasn't even the sponsor, was it? That's just no. the kit manufacturer. <laughs> I just mean that it, they, they made it a bit smaller to suit the top, whereas I don't think you can do that with sponsors. Yeah, we, we we told off several Scottish teams for having two big sponsors, so I'm just applying yeah. that to Burnley as well. I'm going there, so... I don't disagree. I was going to say dislike, but it doesn't matter. Uh, no. What, what do you say about this? I, I think... I, so I, I obviously prepared this tier list. I said there was a few of these that could get in the bin. This is one of them. I hate this as much as I hate the Arsenal away top. I do uh, not like this. Someone's run it over with their bike. I was thinking, poster. you know, you know when uh, you're at school and you got when you were at school, sorry, and you got asked to colour it in, but make sure you stay between the lines. That that's you. That's the staying within the lines. It doesn't happen. But I quite like the bike analogy. So yes, someone has run this over with their bike. It's going in hate. Does anyone yeah, want to pump definitely. it up? No, I hate. It looks looks like someone should be out cycling in it. So that makes sense. Yeah. And that 
I don't mind it. I think it's meh. If it wasn't that red stripe, it'd be better. If it was just plain black. But I don't get a save. Well, Kyle, okay. well, you've got the Chelsea home top. Chelsea only have one kit at the moment. Um, they're also having sponsor trouble after three pulled out and a deal with Paramount Plus uh, fell through as the Premier League broadcast partners objected to it. Uh, so they might have a sponsor by the time this video comes out. Um, there was talks with various people that that might happen. Uh, but they, as stands, and as I can find, they only have one kit, which is this one. Nike seem to have gone with like the rainbow luminescent badges this season, and I can't decide if I like it. When I first saw it on Twitter, it looked gold, and I liked it. But when this photo, it actually looks like it's gold and green, and I think it's maybe just a reflection of the... But I don't like it. It is, yeah. What, watching it, um, watching like the Liverpool game with it the other day, it just looked wrong. I think if that was a traditional kit, as in like the kind of white badge instead of in the white tick, it would actually be a really nice kit because the sleeves are nice. I don't mind though. It looks a bit more training talk without the sponsor, but... Yeah, yeah Kyle's got the final say. I think when it's got a sponsor, it'll be... Uh, maybe I'll... I may, but we'll put it for dislike now because there's no sponsor and the badge is a bit off. I was going to suggest bumping it up to me, but I've already yeah. like, there's some. I think the back of this top, like above the shoulders, is white. There's something from the Chelsea game the other day that I remember going, I really don't like that about Chelsea's kit. We must mention it. So I'm going to propose keeping it in dislike if Kyle wants it there. I could see it being in May just the same. It's one of those I think it will grow in folk. Over I just time. said May, I don't hate it. I actually quite like the white kind of underarm, but. Same to say, May, it's, a, it's a quite a close one to call. So May sounds just as good. You've said that. I've looked at what's in dislike and I. Like, I like it more than anything we've yeah. got in dislike. So, yeah, that's the, fine. The dogs agree that it's me. I heard what they were saying. Yes. Dr. Right. Doolittle in the middle there. Uh, yes, Dr. Doolittle is your goal with Crystal Palace Home Kit. This came out quite early and was one of the kind of first ones to cause social media to go wild. Just right. before we start, there's no Chelsea awake if we can find you. So, yeah. I think I didn't say it, but yeah, you're right. Did you? I'm sorry. Um, no, it's fine. Listen to me. So, if you put your hand over the photo and you look at the top, it looks like Spider-Man inspired kit. Um, if you look at it from a hole, it looks like a Hibernian inspired kit from last season. Uh, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. What? I don't like the. I know it's maybe the Crystal Palace, but I don't think it looks right. It is the Crystal Palace. Yeah, no, but I, I don't think it looks right. I, I love this, man. I'm dislike. I'm dislike. I don't. I, I would say Frank Macron done it wrong. That's an absolute travesty. I have to say though, I think it'll look better on, and I didn't watch Crystal Palace game, so I don't even know if they were in their home kit to be honest. It's an absolute travesty. Uh, I like Arsenal week it. Here we are. Yeah. Uh, well, I've got their away top, and it might follow the home top. Um, I'm not sure I like this. Um, what's what's on the sash? So it says know. Chris. It says Crystal Palace. We know it's your top. You don't need to tell us. It says Fermented as well. That was a solid top. If that was sorry. If that was a solid color, I would like it more. But I don't like the wee bits of rain. I also don't like the fact that Cinch has made it purple to fit him with their branding. Dislike from me. Yeah, I think it'd be better if the the reports were like people like say board members or famous players or whatever like had been in. Yeah. So just the name of the team because. I just even know who they are. Yeah. No, no, right. no complaints. No, not from me. Right, yeah. Kyle, on you go. Everton home kit. It's just bottom end where they are going to be in the league as well. I say dislike. Don't like the collar or this cuffs. I'm not a cuff uh, collar person. I quite like the wee the wee pattern of the cuffs. But, yeah. Um, mm, I disagree. But I, I like it more than anything we've got in dislike, therefore I think I need to suggest that we put it in May. I think May as well, I don't mind it. On yeah. the other hand, Robert, you've got it away kit. You aren't going to agree with me, but I actually quite like it. Uh, it's pretty snazzy. I, that's a future re retro top and a half, isn't it? Yeah. Um, the badge is well centred. Well, maybe mm, actually, it was put between two lines, and I know we say it should be in a stripe, but the stripes aren't big enough to have it in the middle, so it doesn't look too out of place. The, the white state dot com looks all right. The Hummel badge could have maybe been centred a bit more, but you know what? I, I like it. I also like it. 
Like the I suggested before we started this, we should have a category below hate forever and away kit. So this is one of those that, as I said with the Burnley we talk, it can get in the bin. But you two both like it, so it needs to go in like. Good. Um, I've got full and home top, and I'm literally going to ask Alexa, show me a template football top. I cannot find template football top on Google. Uh, I don't like that the, that the stripes are different colours on each side. Yeah, That's what they it, tried to do to make this not look like a template football top, and it still does. Matches a badge, yeah. though, to be fair. Mm, make it white or make it red, one of the other. Don't go both. Do you know what? See, in terms of home tops, I think this, like, there's not too many home tops I could be offended by and say this needs to go in hate. This might be one of them. I dislike I it more than one. most things in dislike. I think it's for me it's a dislike. I it's dislike nice. the different colours but on the things, but to be honest, I like that colour. It's so a standard. We'll, we'll stick with dislike. It's a standard I'll trail top. Dislike. I, it maybe isn't a hate, but it's an example of how not to innovate on a home top. Uh, Kyle, fill away. I mean, I love a good pink kit, so it's got to be a lover or like for me. I won't have it any um, lower. I'll, I'll I like say it, it again. Alexa, Alexa, show me a template football top. No, nah, I like this you, one. You don't see many pink kits, and they're always nice whenever they come out, in my opinion. I suppose that's true. It might look better on. I like it. Like? Yeah. I think like sounds a bit right. Yeah. Oh, good. I've got the Liverpool home top. Um, I'm interested. I know it's my goal. Kyle, what's your thoughts on this as a Liverpool fan? There's been better, but it's still quite, it's quite like it. It's quite basic. It's standard as this sponsor would say. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, think, I think we got the gist. So quite like, like it. There's been um, better over the years, but it's still decent. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind it at all. I, th I think it's a, it's a, is it a like? Is it a may? It's a may for me. Kyle, cast in I, I would say like, but I don't mind it. As an example, again, I think it's a good home top, so I'm going to go with the like. Who's the player wearing it, though? Um, Kyle, you right. do get the Liverpool away kit. My thing's froze. I get what it looks like. I like it. I like the colours. Contrast quite Robert, well. I bet you Robert doesn't. Uh, someone's been at it where you know when you get a wee bit of paper and then you get your sponge paint in it. Different. I, I was going for like it's like a brass rubbing. No, nah, dabbing it on. To, or either it looks a bit pixelated to me. It's I I I, I hate that. I don't like it at all. It's a it's a dislike. Could, for me, me as well. could maybe push it to a dislike because I quite like the the black collar and and the sleeves. I quite like that, but I don't like the. Just for formality, Kyle, where are you proposing we put it? It's probably biased to be fair, but I'm as you like because I do quite like it. I'm saying dislike. Okay. I'm, I'm agreeing with dislike, yeah. Yes, would. Uh Robert, look at home top. Uh quite like it, but I don't know why there's a random black line down the side the, the, the white stripe. Uh I, nah, meh, meh. I don't think it had potential, but I don't... Nah, meh. I think it's a meh. It'd be a like if the, that line wasn't there. That's it's quite random. I think it's a like, and the line's preventing me from putting it in love, but I'll agree with me. But coming on, coming on to the awake, it's kind of a similar issue. It's like literally the, the same top with the colours in there. It's, yeah, the, I the, dislike the, this one more. Doesn't um, fade the same. Yes, because they've not longer gone into the into the sponsor. So this one's a dislike from me. Because I feel it has to be lower than the home top. Like, I'd like the home top in like, so I could put this in May. Oh, so this is the home top's in May, this has to be a dislike. So I think we need to... I think there's a difference between them. I think this is a May, to be fair. It's good, it's like kit, just slightly different. I think it's worse. Hmm... That's like fine with me, two fears. Meh, meh. Where's it going? I would meh. say meh, but... We'll put it in meh, that's fine. Right, whose turn is it now? Kyle's. I don't like this Man City home top. I'm not a fan. No, no, no. It's not as don't bad me. as the, the hate ones, even though I like them, but... I mean, I would say dislike. 
I don't like it. I don't like the, the stripes going down. Nah, it's a no from me. That's like thinks a good agreement. However, whose turn is it my turn? It is. I like this one. I don't know, I think the golds looks really nice, the colours. Uh, I, I know I slide off the colour on a few of them, but I actually think the colour suits that one. Yep. I, I'd probably version on love that, actually. I, I don't, I dislike it. I know what kit I want to put in a love, so I'd agree with the like. Newcastle. <laughs> no comment. We're not going to have more than one kit in love. We are, but do, do you know what? I'm not going to disagree with the love. I think it's maybe more of a like from me, but I'm not going to disagree with love. Up to you. Go like if you want. No, you're nominated. You? you nominated love. I'm not nominating moving it down. Okay. Then it goes. Man United home top. Do you know what? I quite like this. Better than what they've had the last few years. It really is. I like, so I've just noticed I was sitting there, and I could be completely wrong, I was sitting there going, what are the wee spirals on the inside? If it is what I think it is, and it's a Lancashire rose, it's really nice. Yeah. It, it must be, because the Lancashire rose is actually on the inside of the collar. Um, so I'm nominating this straight into like, possibly even higher. If you're a Man United fan and you don't own this kit, go and buy it. So absolutely like well. straight up classic. I like as well. I'm a mess. Settle yeah. on like. Not sure about design. Kyle, on the other hand, you get this. The away kit. It's like a bloody pajama pajama top. Well, actually, I like what I got... try... so, it. I like what they're trying to do with it, but the colours are all wrong for it. So it's a dislike for me. It's a bend from me. It's a hate. I I I probably like the things that hate more than this. Hate from me. I can vibe with hate. I just don't don't be horrible. So yeah, hate's fine with me. Hate. hate with me. Someone's at my door. I'm not going. Um, Robert, break my it's heart. The bo- it's the boringest chairman. <laughs> He's coming to get you. <laughs> uh, like, I like this top. It's nice. Kind of t- typical Newcastle, but they're not wearing it up. to extreme. The sponsor suits the top. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the badges, the badge of this, the Newcastle badge and the Castor badge have been centred in the stripe, which I like. I like the colour and the cuff, so I'm going... I'm not enough to love it, but I like it. Get this in love. <laughs> Get this in love. They have, for God knows how many years, um, had w- uh, Wonga and then the Chinese betting company that was blue. It looked terrible. They went out, they got a new sponsor, they made it black and white. This absolutely slaps. I love round the sleeves. I love the colour. It's a straight love. But bring back the Puma kits, I mean, then... Yeah, the Puma kits, which were great, apart from the massive Wonga on them, whereas now, this is absolutely phenomenal. Just this is like... how to do a Newcastle top well. Uh, I like it, but not enough to love it, so... It goes in like, this should be... Th- this is the kit we win the Premier League with, and you're only putting it in like. Okay, it's an opinion. The good news is, I've got the Newcastle away top, it's going in hate, we don't need to see it anymore, it's Saudi hmm. inspired, the green looks terrible, the badge doesn't work... The new see the badge the new works even less. It goes in hate, and I'm the first to admit that. Agreed. I don't like it. I, yeah, I, I, think like, I don't like the colour and obviously the kind of Saudi connection with it. And I think that uh, the striping doesn't work. The random. Ones in that bin. It'll be a bit of pain last to watch the telly. Yeah. Yeah. Right, uh, this, is, this, is, yeah. this is Kyle for Nottingham Forest home. I mean. It's very, very, very plain, but I do quite like it. I don't know what it is. I guess because it's plain and simple. Works. I think it's just because it's that simple and that it just does work. I quite like it. I like it as well. It's not a lot to see, just red and white. But... The fact that this is probably going in the same category as Newcastle's home top and the Man United home top and the Arsenal home top makes me want to cry. I like the same from me. I do, but not enough to put it in the same category as the Newcastle home top and the Man United home top. Too bad. It's, not, it's too good to be in May, though, isn't it? No. This... I prefer the home, the home mm. top. No, you don't. Uh... This is the top they played in at the weekend at the Emirates. I don't know. Someone's got an Argentina me. top and just stretch the stripes. Yeah, kind of a bit wavy. I'd probably say May. But I quite like how the black Stripes stand out against the, the kind of white top. 
Yeah. Um, I don't Probably disagree me. with me, but I think this is nicer than the home kit. I quite like it as well. I'll put it in like if it was up to me. Like. Let's go with like then. I'm just kind of on the, I was kind of on the verge anyway, so I'm, I'm happy enough to have it in like. Oh, grand. Yes, I've got this. You know, I said there was one to- home top what it's put in. Hey, it's this one. Sheffield United, get it in the bin. Sponsor's too big. Black patches don't work. Shoulders look awful. There's about three different shades of red on there. In the bin. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Uh, at first class, I didn't hate it, but the more I've kind of investigated it, for once, Greg's actually kind of convinced me here. Yeah. In the bin. Uh, away top, on the ha- other hand, on you go, Kyle. It's it looks weird. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it does. retro, but it looks modern. It looks almost too retro. It looks like a kit from 18 whatever and not 19 whatever. I love it. I'm gonna love it. I just love the design. I think it looks really, I think they've done it really well. I would say like the home top. That love, I think, for me. Like for me. The sleeves look too baggy. It might be him wearing it, though. I don't know. It's like for me. The fact that that was going above the Newcastle home top was about to make me properly cry. I know. I think that's kind of like... I know it's not the same, but mine know the Deodora Scotland kits, that kind of yellow vibe. I like them. Yeah. But it's, it's in like, and it's uh, it's your go, Robert. Uh, Spurs home top. I wanted that one. Uh, I don't like it. I feel like it's the same one that they've had every year. I don't like these random lines on it. Someone's pixelated it. Yeah, dislike. Wish I got don't the way kit. Wish I got the way kit. I don't mind dislike it. Dislike the home kit. I like the good patterns on it, but that's me. Just you. Uh, yeah. I'll wait up. Did you say you liked this, Robert? Yeah. It's a referee's top that we've slapped some badges on. No, I like it. Straight, straight out of Pro Evo. I am like feel free to move it if you want. I am proposing that I put this in dislike. In fact, I might hate it more than I hate the home top, which we put in dislike. It's worse than uh, the home, worse than the home kit. It's worse than the home kit, which means I'm probably going to have to put it in hate, and I'm not opposed to that. Yeah, more look at it. It looks like somebody's dad's polo shirt. Yeah, Robert, you hate those type of colours. I do, but I think it works for the colour. I'm nominating hate. Kyle, do you disagree with that? Argue against that, but sorry, Robert. It's all right, man. On you go, Kyle. It's the bubbles kit. Oh, is that what they were? Christ. Yeah. They're forever blowing bubbles. It's like for me, if they kept the bubbles the same colour, then maybe black, so you can't see them. Yeah. Is same it a bit key? Yeah. It's, it's the same, like... same kit every year, but then they've got these poxy circles, so it's a different look. Yeah. For me. We're all agreed on that one. Uh, Robert, that you get the, the home top. I like it. No, the uh, top, kind of, sorry. Uh, I like the, I wish the top, I wish the badge wasn't blacked out, but, uh, sorry, whited out rather, but I think it would have stood out more coloured, but, because they've got the, the home kit colour on the, what are they call again? It's on the sleeves and the collar, which I quite like them, so, uh, probably go like. Meh for me. No, nah, wait, actually. I'm, I'm, taking, that. I'm taking Greg's I'm taking Greg's uh, opinions on the it's not as good as the like the Arsenal home kit and that, so I'll go with it as well. I would if the badge had like a black trim it would look a lot better. But I think yeah. Mez would be Uh what have I got? Will's home top. Do I like this? One, why have Castori not changed the colours from when they designed the Newcastle top? Um Luckily, the Villa top does not have the exact same sleeves and collar. Um, I'm not convinced this works. Uh, it kind of seems every year, though. I'm going, I'm going May for me. It, like, orange is a colour that you can have so many different shades of orange to like offset that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it, it's a dislike from me as well. I'm suggesting I put this. Yeah, I can agree. The, I like the colour of wolves, but the kit is, is too plain. And then the last one, which is Kyle again, uh, is Wolves Away. That's a really nice pattern. Almost Portugal inspired, which is quite fitting. 
I'm hoping Robert says the words that he usually says about some of these kits. Two words, train and top. Hey, there we <laughs> go. That's the words I was counting on. I, I would like it as a training top, but I don't like it as a away kit. I'm going dislike, I think. Oh, I think it's I think it belongs in the bin with the rest oh, of the Oh, it's no one it's nowhere near hate. Category. It's nowhere near hate, but I don't I would probably be a kind of mix between men dislike, but this the, the the random line on the with the sleeves and then the bit of colour underneath and then the rat it's too much, I think. I think they went too much. The the fact that you're proposing putting this in the same place as the Bournemouth home top, the Brighton home top, and the Burnley home top, and the Chelsea home top. Like, yeah, as it's it like the right place. It's a good job we live in a democracy, then. I said the same as Newcastle. <laughs> right, well, I hope Newcastle you... Newcastle home kit, the Newcastle home kit, and the Man United home kit, which are the best two kits there, are in, like, in Man City ways in love. I don't agree. Do you know what? Kyle? Oh. If, if you're up for nominating it, I know it was him who was in love. I'll bump Man City uh, home kit down to like him. I'll have nothing in love. Nah, just like you, because you have something in love, don't you? You do. The Sheffield United. Yeah, the Newcastle home kit. Right. right. Well, the, that's it. It's done. We've done we'll, it. So we'll, if you we'll post this on Twitter for your opinions or X, as it's now called. Yeah. Um. So. Aye. Right. Comment. If you agree, if you disagree, if you just. Watch it, give us a comment, see what you think. So that takes us on nicely to this week's game, which is the category game again. We are back with the categories game. Um, my performance last week was pretty bad, so I've had to make the game for the first time in a wee while, so it's, it's fine. So it's Greg versus Kel today. It is. Um, yeah, so Greg had a, had a kind of Premier League theme last week. And guess what? The first round is to do with the Premier League. Um, oh, I don't think we've had... So the inaugural Premier League campaign started on Saturday, fifteenth of August, nineteen ninety-two, with twenty-two clubs. I want you to name the twenty-two clubs that were involved. Me first. Yes, challenger. Manchester United. Arsenal. Liverpool. Chelsea. Coventry City. Very good. Tottenham. Swindon Town. <laughs> oh, they must have got promoted and went back up. I can't remember if it was them or Bradford who got relegated in the inaugural season. Yes, yeah, so you did all right there. I'll read out quickly. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, it's not. Oh, done. yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. Southampton. I had oh, Middlesbrough in my back pocket as well, and I, I went for the I went for the. It's one of these you want to save that an answer later on, but it beats yeah. you. Yeah, uh, right. I knew Newcastle weren't. Sorry, um, teams that didn't get mentioned: Villa, Blackburn. I think I don't know if we said Coventry, Crystal Palace, Everton, Ipswich, Leeds. Um, Middlesbrough, as Greg said, Norwich City, Nottingham Forest, Oldham Athletic, Queen's Park Rangers, Sheffield United, Sheffield Wednesday, Southampton, Tottenham, and Wimbledon. They got they got promoted in the first season after the Premier League. They won the playoff final that season. That's heartbreaking. I'm lucky. That is right. Mind you, can see if Greg's cheating on his in the window. We can. I was <laughs> checking when they. I was checking when they won it. Right. Um, second one. English theme, but not the Premier League this time. Uh, yesterday was the 14th August, but on the 14th of August in 2013, England played Scotland at uh, Wembley Stadium for the first time in a while. It was a very dramatic game, and sadly, Scotland lost 3 2. Uh, I want you to name any of the players that were in the teams. I'm going to let, because it was a wee while ago, and I. Sh- I feel like if it's the start in 22, it's tough if it was a wee while ago. I'm going to let you name some of the subs as well. So this could go on for quite a bit. But you can it can be in the starting 11 or on the bench, and there's quite a lot of subs. So any players that were in the England or Scotland team? On you go, Kyle. Kenny Miller. Lee Griffiths. That's the wrong game. That's the wrong game. I've had a nightmare. No, it's not. No, you're right. 
What was, was on the bench? What was the game? The, the years, sorry, I forgot. 2013. Uh, Ricky Lambert. Scored, scored the winner with his first touch. Joe Hart. England's number one at the time. James Morrison. I'm trying to work out what the safe answers are here. What are the really safe answers? Frank Lampard. <laughs> Which I don't, I don't think was. Oh no. He was on the, on the bench, got booked in the 63rd minute, came on we the 43rd. Waza. Yeah. Waza. Now, I know we called him up, but that was Euro 2016, so let's not do that. It's the World Cup in 2014, I need to think about it. So Daniel Sturridge definitely played at that World Cup. So Daniel Sturridge. <laughs> well done, Kyle. Gary Gale was my next one. Yeah, he'd have been fine. Can't see Sturridge. Right, quickly, for England, the start of 11 was Hart, Walker, Cahill, Chagielka, Baines, Cleverly, Gerrard, Wilshire, Walcott, Rooney and Welbeck. And on the bench was uh, the cycling GK, as Kyle called him, Ben Foster, uh, Johnson, Cole, Jones, Smallin, Milner, Lampard, Defoe, Lambert, Oxley, Chamberlain, Zaha and Ruddy. Ruddy, yeah. Scotland's start of 11 was McGregor, Hutton, Martin, Hanley, Whitaker, Snodgrass, Morrison, Brown, Forrest, Maloney, and Miller. Uh, and on the bench was Jilks, MacArthur, Naismith, Burke, Adam, Webster, Rhodes, Mulgrew, Bannon, Griffiths, Mackay Stephen, Dorans, Conway, Boyd, notably George, I believe not Chris, uh, Greer, Hamill, and David Marshall. Where on earth is, was Daniel Sturridge? Maybe injury. Right, do I do the last one quickly? Yeah, why not? I this one's trying like to establish some pride. Right. So, uh, notably, we went on a lot about Effie Ambrose oh, in the no. last few episodes. So, I want you to tell me any club that he's played for. Yeah, that's why I get to go first. Screen of the South. Celt- Celtic. Hibernian. Morton. That's all I've got. Can I go? Yeah, on you go. Darby. Whitewash for them. Uh, yeah, it does. I, th- I would say Darby because he signed for them, but on, according to Wikipedia, he made no appearances. Wait, if he made no appearances, he's not played for them, and you said that he if Ambrose has played for. Oh, well, okay, I'll do another go for someone else. Well, Greg's take these Greg shots, so. I mean, technically, I never had a shot, so technically it's 2-0, and I don't care. Yeah, well, uh, you played for a team called... Uh, I'm not saying that, though, it says that he played no appearances for Queens on this, so he could have well played for Derby, it's just not been updated. Oh, but he definitely has. Yeah, I know, that's why I said it, but I, 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 I never noticed that until now. Uh, anyway, I thought he'd played twice for them, that's why I ticked it, but he hadn't. Um, Kaduna? Bielsa? Did he play did he... in Holland before he came to Chelsea? That's why I was trying to work out. I don't know why I thought he did. Wherever those teams are from. Like... Ash Dodd. Uh, Celtic. It's really. Uh, Celtic. Hibs on loan. Hibs permanently. Derby. Livingston. St Johnston. Dunfermline Athletic. Athletic on loan. Greenock Morton. And Queen of the South. So, I thought yeah. an absolute shocker this week. Well done, Kyle. It's all right. Right. That brings us on to this week's predictions. Yes, uh, talking of absolute shockers, last week I only managed three points, as did Robert. I all managed to grab four, uh, so the current scores as we carry on are me and Kyle on seven and Robert on six. This week it's my choice of games, uh, there is one championship match on, but I've not picked it, I've picked two in the League Cup. So to start with one of the League Cup games, we've got Airdrie versus Ross County, um, Airdrie obviously winning their group. What do we think? Um, they're on a good run of form. I'm going to go. What about then, Ross County? Uh, no, are you what shock result? I'm going to go Airdrie. Yeah, I'm going to go for a Ross County win. I'm going to try and just back the favourites. Um, next game is Livingston versus Ayr. 
Phoenix then obviously looking to respond after the defeat at Ibrox. I think Ismail, this will be a draw at 90 minutes. Livingston. I'm also going to go for Livingston. Um, into League One, we've got Montrose versus Cove this weekend. Montrose with a 3 1 win over Annan. Can't remember who Cove played, but it might have been Falkirk. You two Falkirk. Not done in the research. They beat Falkirk. Each. Two each. Two each. I think this is also going to be a draw. I'm going for a Cove win. I see. Montrose. Oh, well, at least we'll get some different points this week. Yes. Uh, into League Two, we've got East 5 versus Stenhouse Mayor. Uh... It's a draw from me. East Fife. Hmm. Oh. I said East Fife. Oh, I didn't hear you. Said it at the same time. Um, this week, again, my pick. So we go to the Comedy Premier Division, um, where Cardiff Met Uni are playing Bala Town. Both of those winners oh. finished in the top half last season. Uh, I'm going for a Cardiff Met win. Me too. Uh, I don't really know much about them, uh, but Cardiff stick out in my head, so go go Cardiff, mate. Cardiff, mate. Uh, and the last game is in La Liga, where we've got Real Sociedad versus Celta Vigo. Mm. I'm, going going for for Moises, I'm going for Moises' former men as well. Yeah, me. Mm. That's what I'll go different now. Sask, I'll go Celta Vigo. Oh, I didn't know if he'd like anything with Celt in the title, but he's gone for it. Uh, that is the end of this week's prediction. Oh, no, wait. Uh, just look at the league table here. It's too late. You've said it now. That's the end of this week's predictions. And since you've stolen his phone, that's the end of this week's podcast. Yeah, well, I, well uh, you know what? I hope some Celt of Eagle win. And that way, the smug <laughs> look off your face. But anyway, thank you very much for listening. Uh, oh, we reached out to Kieran in the comments again. Put three points this week from last week. So. Yeah, thank you again for the engagement. Appreciate that. He's on seven uh, points as well. So yeah, we'll keep it. We signal to his. So yeah, thank you very much all for listening. Uh, make sure to give us a wee subscribe if you're not subscribing already. Give us a like as well. It goes a long way. You'd be surprised. So thank you very much. See you later. Ciao. Bye.